Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Wednesday, September 28, 2022. Number one, as the state of Florida braces for the impact of Hurricane Ian, many parts of the country are having to make adjustments. The House Select Committee to investigate the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol was expected to hold its final public hearing Wednesday afternoon, but it has been postponed due to the high category storm known as Ian targeting Florida. News sites report that members of the committee are firm in saying this is a postponement, not a cancellation of the public hearing. A date has not been announced, but it is expected to occur before the end of this year. Number two, President Joe Biden is committed to ending hunger by the year 2020. He released an executive summary entitled the Biden-Harris Administration National Strategy on Hunger, Nutrition, and Health, detailing exactly how he plans to accomplish this task. The strategy attacks the issue of hunger, accessibility, and activity across five pillars. Pillar one seeks to improve food access and affordability, including by advancing economic security and increasing access to free and nourishing school meals. Number three, employees of a Milwaukee-based health care provider who cited religious reasons for opting out of a mandated coronavirus vaccination are now required to receive a shot or reapply for an exemption. The previous exemption has expired for impacted staff at the health center. The health care provider says the move is because of the availability of a protein-based vaccination called Novavax. The company says the option eliminates the conflicts caused by mRNA-based vaccines like Moderna or Pfizer because it does not use fetal cell lines for development. Employees have the opportunity to reapply for the exemptions. Number four, the word transgender or trans is an umbrella term for people whose gender identity is different from the sex assigned to them at birth. Although the word transgender and our modern definition of it only came into use in the late 20th century, people who fit under this definition have existed in every culture throughout recorded history. Trans people are facing severe discrimination, stigma, and systemic inequality. 29% of trans people live in poverty, with the highest amount of those people being black trans people. Number five, Rashawn Davis has been missing from Brooklyn, New York since September 24th. The 13-year-old was last seen as his residence located in the 100 block of Rockaway Parkway. He was last seen wearing a green shirt, green shorts, and blue MCM sandals. Anyone with information on Rashawn's disappearance, please go to the Black and Missing Foundation website. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Being nice is not hard if you are nice. Be nice. Inhale kindness. Exhale meanness. Join me today on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with a very special show featuring Queen Afua. I think you'll really enjoy this. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Black Voters Matter and HBCU. Go TV. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit civilwilks.com. Be informed, be empowered.